Welcome to City on a Hill Gaming, a family-friendly tabletop RPG podcast. We hope you enjoy our show. So you put in uh, the mac and cheese aisle, uh, and it takes you... Uh, this one takes a while. This is a good 10-minute drive um, oh. in your golf cart from uh, the chip section. Um, so how much time is left on the clock? Uh, there is about 60 minutes left on the clock. You guys have made good time Oof. so far. Yeah. Um, and uh, as you make your way uh, towards the macaroni and cheese, you pass uh, cereal, you pass more cereal, you pass even more cereal, uh, and you come to an area full of uh, pasta and pasta-like substances. Um that includes mac and cheese. There is a craft macaroni aisle, because of course there is. Um, they didn't build a 500,000 square foot grocery store without selling some branding deals. Um, and so uh, you find a craft macaroni aisle, uh, and on this aisle, you notice two things. One, craft macaroni and cheese comes in a lot of shapes and has a lot of their own branding sponsors uh, Batman, Spider Man, Lego Batman. Uh, Unicorns, Space Jam, uh, let's see, yeah. uh, City on a Hill Gaming has their own macaroni and cheese for some reason. <laughs> nice. Because uh, why not? Um, Is it shaped like a Deblork? Yes. I was like, what's a Deblork? Right. They do. Wait for the deep cut there, Brian. Thank you for that cheese, man. Um, there's a Nord VPN macaroni and cheese. Uh, still not a sponsor unless they want to be. And um, there's also bacon macaroni and cheese. Uh, the noodles are shaped Ooh. like bacon. Huh. Which sounds awful, actually. But yeah. it's not bacon-flavored. <laughs> there is bacon-flavored macaroni and cheese on the row. But the bacon-shaped macaroni and cheese is not bacon-flavored. It's very deceptive. There's a lawsuit. So, um, so do we need to look for this thing, or do are we able to see it? Uh, so you do need to look for it, but you notice at the other end of the aisle are two other carts. Oh. Um, you see the green team and the yellow team. Are and they close together? They're right the next to team? each other. I would like to use my ignition skill to cast fireball. <laughs> Probably should have specified what that does. Does the golf cart have fire in it? Okay. It's an oh, electric golf cart, Brian. <laughs> well, you know, no, 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 no. Give them something else to think about. The cart's not casting a, casting fireball. Hadley oh, is casting, oh, fireball. casting fireball. Okay. Yes, I'm casting fireball. And he's fireball. using ignition. Ignition doesn't always have to mean starting the cart. That I chose do... that skill name very carefully. <laughs> I wish you would. Forget, um, he and I have played this often. That's true. Um, I tell you what, before you roll Fireball, um, Kim, make me a check to, um, sort of like a perception check. Okay. So do anything. Four. Four. Okay. Uh, you do notice um, the teams seem to be talking to each other, but that is all you notice. Hmm. Okay. They're working together. Um, um, can I do something real quick? What do you got? I have my one XP. Can I add that? To, to, can I up, upgrade my looking skill that oh, I use okay. to sure. find the checks? Yes. All right. So that's a two D X or two D six now. Yes. Uh, you can't okay. upgrade. A, you cannot upgrade a skill. You can only add new skills based on an action you just performed. So you're going to need to make something. Um, more, oh, that's true because it would have to be something more specific. Okay. If you tried to tried to look for something and you rolled the skill and then you could upgrade that to make a uh, new you, you more could make a new skill. skill. But I was successful. <laughs> it's true. You but, can still okay. spend the XP to to get another skill. But your yeah. what was what was the skill that you rolled? It was for looking. Looking so that you could make the the next one you know, more spot specific or something like that. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Brian, throw that fireball. Can't believe I said that. Um, I'll save it for later. Nine. One. Nice. Um, <laughs> so, you know, you can roll more yeah. than one die. Oh, I, I have been something times. that's supposed to be ridiculously hard. Uh, for whatever reason, apparently you're just good at this. Um, okay, well, I now have a... Uh, I rolled you... one of those was a six, so I'm going to spend my XP to uh, get Fireball. <laughs> oh, just as a separate skill. Okay, good. As nice. um, level that's, why you had, that's why you had problems <laughs> starting the cart the first time because it's electric and not gas. Yeah. You're good with fire. Uh, it if it had no been gas, you right. would have had it right the first time. That's true. Um, so he leans out the car and launches a fireball. Um, huh. And uh, it hits just in front of the other two carts, superheats the ground, and melts all of their front tires to the floor. 
Nice. nice. Love it. Two teams down. We love Two it. Two to go. Uh, you you hear loudly over the intercom system. Can he do that? Don't think he said he couldn't do that. Did you know we had any wizards in the competition? I don't think so. We didn't do background checks. I don't know these people. It's more I don't know who's been invited to a school for this kind of thing. It's not on Facebook. Hey, it's not our fault his professor was named X. <laughs> Did Sorry, anybody what, um, find that uh, unicorn mac and cheese yet? <laughs> right, there was supposed to be something you were looking for. We have an objective. Causing problems. <laughs> Good, perfect. Um, uh, yes. I, let me, you let me look for it. Unicorn mac and cheese. Oh, we already found it. Cool. If we knock all the other tubes out, we win by default. <laughs> no, you still have to bring all the items to check out. Not my Can default. I use my theory skill to steal items from the two stranded teams? Yes. <laughs> nice. They don't need them anymore. Okay, roll. That's eight. Eleven. Oh. Uh, you get caught. No. Uh, hey. But hold on. That's a six and a two. You can oh. do one of. You can use an experience to get a third level skill. Okay. I would do if that. You want yes. To. Um, you get caught, and someone swats at you with a fly swatter because for whatever reason Super the fly thief. swatter is the item they brought with them. <laughs> Three. Um. And. Uh, he he thwaps you on the arm. Hey, no stealing from our cart. Your <laughs> cart for these items. Um, you don't need them anymore. <laughs> no, someone's changing their tires. Someone's item was a tire jack. And our carts have two spare tires on the back. Oh, two we'll, be back ah, ah. we'll be back in this race in no time. Take out the Sorry, other tire. Something keeps falling on me. Really cat Where's my har- harpoon at? <laughs> Uh, he, uh, yeah, I got. It. Hadley's only level five. He only gets one uh, third level spell a day. Um, no more fireballs. Um, okay, actually, so, yeah, that's a good point, Mister King. Can I can I harpoon one of the tires from one from one of the other tires? I mean, the front tires are melted, so you'd have to harpoon over the carts to hit the back tires. Uh, Unless well, you want to harpoon one of the spare tires. Oh, one of the to, spare tires. You want to harpoon a spare tire as they're changing it. Yeah, okay. like I'm, like they change one, they go to change the other, and I get the one they already just changed. Okay, all right, roll away. Okay, let me see. Oof. Oh, uh, I have a total of ten. I got one. Okay, <laughs> um, you launch your harpoon gun. It flaps into uh, several packages of Spider-Man macaroni and cheese. Ooh. Um, and, uh, webbing shoots everywhere. Webbing shoots everywhere. Just for some reason, that's a surprise. It's in the box of Spider-Man macaroni and cheese. Is your own web shooter, um, uh, non-refillable. And uh, it actually, as it pierces the macaroni and cheese, it pierces into the metal shelf, and the rope that connects it to your harpoon gun snaps. You have lost uh, your harpoon. I've lost my whole harpoon. You still dun, have the dun, rope, dun. mostly. And do I still have the ejector? Yeah, thingy? you still have the launching mechanism. There's just no harpoon attached to it now. <laughs> Great. I have a rope shooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I... there are uses for that. Don't worry. We can figure that out. We can, we can um, use that for something. Uh, so, a four dings on the board for you guys, uh, and two other teams have now dinged for three items. Uh, what should you go after next? Oh, real quick. Um, can uh, for For accuracy. Can oh, you I? Want to, you want to use an XP for? I want to. I have two XP to use. Can okay. I use yeah. both of them? Well, you can use one of them to turn that into a second level skill. Okay. It yeah, only requires see. one. Because you only were rolling one one die to start with. Yes. Gotcha. So now you so have yeah, two e six in accuracy. Accuracy, and not expressly harpoon gun shooting because that seems like a waste. Oh, uh, good. Now we can ask <laughs> you a very important question, and you can answer it accurately. Yes. What is the next nearest item? The, the roll the, it, the thing. Roll it. Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll accuracy. Oh, yeah. Roll your accuracy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I got a two. Oh. Uh, so I got a four. Uh, sadly, the last blueprints uh, that Stephen was able to get a hold of are from uh, oh, wait, six wait, wait, months wait. ago. I just and, remembered. Uh, I have. D- oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Only one oh, one die. Was that only one die? Only... Okay. Oh, I I did two and I got two again. That's a total of four. Two, I still win. I got, I got two ones. What is this? Can I use my? Can I use another XP on my accuracy again? 
Uh, how many XP you do you have? You can just get an XP from a fail. I just I just got an XP from a fail. Can I use and it on? Had one, and I you had, had one, one left over from four, so you'd have to use yeah. both of yeah. them to yeah. get a level three. So you could go. I'll to, do you it. Could get a three d six of something. Yep, I'm doing that on my accuracy. I'm taking so I have zero XP now. Okay, so it needs to be something more specific than just accuracy this time. You need to name it something else. Uh, it has like, to be. It doesn't have to be more specific than accuracy. They just have to be related to the action you just took. Okay, that's true. So like grocery location. Yeah. Or okay. Like that. Something along those lines. So, uh, so the well, last the last Steve. blueprint Stevens looked at was uh, about six months old, uh, and so the store has been rearranged slightly. All right. Location. Oh, so it's Walmart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I now have location accuracy three d six. Yes. Uh, so, so you remain to find Horizon milk boxes, um, Canyon Bakehouse gluten free seven grain bread, eighteen ounce pick- package. We picked up the Mac? Yes, you picked up the Mac. Okay. And Gwaltney 12-ounce thick-cut sliced bacon. Where go next? Uh, there are 50 minutes remaining in the competition. All right, we're doing good. So I think bread maybe... might be close. The bread. You think? Closer than, like, meat or milk? I we just passed cereals. That makes sense. Yeah. Can yeah, Hadley say... ask my computer? With his computer skills, I was also gonna say if we go for the milk, we could just spill it all over, spill a bunch of milk all can over I, the floor to make it harder for other people to drive through. Can I use my location accuracy to figure out the best route? I mean, you do have the computer that will tell you that. Oh, that's true. I'm a, I have a useless high level <laughs> skill. You don't have uses. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, roll it to see which of the two things because you guys are looking at what you're looking at bread. Or milk. Bread or milk. I tell you what, Neff, make me an accuracy check to find out if gluten-free bread is in the same area as regular bread. 13. Well, I can't beat that, statistically, because I'm only rolling two (laughs) dice. So, yes. (laughs) All right. Uh, So, gluten-free bread is not in the same area as regular bread. Gluten-free bread has its entire own gluten-free section, uh, which is approximately a quarter of the mile back the other direction. So milk first. So yeah, let's do milk. Okay. Let's do milk. Uh, and this is specifically boxed milk, but is still in the dairy section. Uh, okay, so you're gonna use the computer to navigate, Brian. Oh sure. Four. Also a four. Okay. Uh, the computer. Uh, this item not recognized. This item not recognized. Please be more specific. Ugh. But we'd be less specific and just look for, like, the store brand whole milk. Okay. Is, is it Horizon Organic Milk Boxes? I don't yeah. think the organic milk Count. boxes are actually in the dairy section oh. of normal grocery stores. Are they not? I don't think they're actually cold. No, I oh. think they're put, like, to the side, like, with, like, the condensed milk and stuff like that. Yeah. So do you want me, can I use my, can I use my accuracy now? To find the condensed milk? Okay, go find the condensed milk, Neff. <laughs> I got a two. I got a nine. Yeah! The condensed milk is about 300 feet to your right near the front of the store. Ooh. That is closer. Do we want to save that for, well, I mean. No, if it's right here, then we get it now. Okay, yeah. yeah let's, let's go get next- it thing was a quarter mile so uh, as yeah, Hadley begins to move the cart you hear two more dings two teams have reached a fourth item there are three teams at four items and two teams at three uh, as you approach the uh, non-liquid dairy section as I'm now calling it because um, <laughs> I didn't realize it wasn't in the same place but he's right it's probably not um as you approach the non liquid that also be section, cheese? Uh, you hear a weird mechanical sound as you round the corner. Duck. That's good Goose. advice because we don't sell that here, sir. I'm sorry. Um, no. As you look up. No turducken? There is. Yes, always turducken. 364 and a half days a year. So you do have duck? No, 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 you, no can, goose. you can't buy duck on its own. Can't buy any geese. Can't you buy can only geese. buy a duck. If they're if it's inside of a turkey, I throw With a, a chicken duck. inside it. Yes. Okay. Or if you want bacon inside the chicken as well, and injected with cheese and then deep fat fried. America. Um, <laughs> was this a state fair? 
Ooh. <laughs> Stay fair, Isle. Okay. Um. <laughs> Actually, I think that would just be like an aisle full of nothing but fry grease. Yeah, fried butter. <laughs> and Oreos. And Oreos. Yeah. I have zero objections. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you need to come to the reporters. Texas State Fair. Brian uh, predicted accurately, you should probably duck mm-hmm. it because there is a small robot set up in the middle of the aisle Who brought launching a kiwis at you. <laughs> Why is it launching small birds at us? <laughs> Fair question. I should For people from New people. Zealand. Bought They're an endangered sucker. species. No, we would never harm an endangered species here. We would simply <laughs> watch small green fruit at you. This is messed up. Small fuzzy green fruit. They're basically the same thing. They are roughly. Can the same we catch size. them with the claw or like hit them with the pole? Yeah. Uh, okay, so you or someone so someone has to make a roll baseball. to defend your cart from the kiwis. Yeah, I will baseball thwack them with my pole. Okay. Nice. Well, with aim to hit them well. With aim but to hit thwack them well. as in the action, not the skill. Right. Nice. That's going to be uh, six, uh, yeah, 16. I only have 10. Uh, so nice. you thwack a, you pull thwack a kiwi uh, directly back and it hits the robot square in the face. It malfunctions. Good. Nice. Good job. Consider yourself fortunate at the other end of the aisle. Uh, the red team has rounded the corner. They're having tangerines launched at them. <laughs> you, pick the, you pick the better direction and therefore the better robot. Eat it, Bernhardt. <laughs> Eat the tangerine. <laughs> uh, okay, so you make your way down the aisle uh, in search of Horizon Organic Coal Milk, six pack, eight flowing ounces per bottle. Um, uh, you find several options. There's whole milk, low fat milk, chocolate milk. Um, which one do you retrieve? Organic whole milk. Organic whole yes. milk it is. Fifth ding. Let's go. Uh, everyone, you hear several dings happen at the same time. Every team now has a minimum of four items. So I, one ahead. I, I now say, let, let's spill some milk all over the floor so anybody yeah. else coming for it has to oh. drive through it. Or yes, walk and throw the jelly beans in there too so it's all sticky. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Someone roll to attack the boxed milk. Wait. Hmm. Okay. I'll roll. What are we going to attack attack it with? Wait, can I tie can I tie one of the Pringles cans to my rope, and I can just injector shoot it? Just... <laughs> I mean, use I'm the, technically use not the... supposed to say no in the system, so sure. Use the Pringles cans as your harpoon Sweet. now instead. And you have an accuracy skill. So uh, which which flavor of Pringles are you wasting? I mean, shooting. Um, the the sour cream and onion ones, the one that we, the one that we picked up, the big those one. Are the good ones. I know, but that's what was on the end cap. That's true. That's why they were on the end cap. They're the good ones. Um, yeah. All right, launch your Agreement. Pringles. And this is this on uh, my accuracy you thing? You may or use your accuracy, to... yes. Oh, sweet. Twelve. At uh, one. So. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so now how many dice is in your accuracy? Uh, Three. I thought accuracy was 2d6. No, no, no. I because I remember I upgraded it with my XP. Oh, okay. You, I thought that was. I thought again, you can't upgrade a skill. You can, you can only just get create a new skills. one. No, no, no. When I when I when I went down when I because uh, I I messed it up three times in a row or twice in a row. <laughs> oh, so, so you I have a new you have a new the, accuracy skill that's just a more direct accuracy. accuracy. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Yes. Uh, powdered milk flies across the room. Um, for some reason, uh, it hits the air and mixes with the kiwi and the tangerine on the ground and turns to a sticky liquid. Um, nice. And over in the corner, you see a janitor with tears in his eyes and someone over the <laughs> intercom yells, no crying over spilled milk. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. He sucks it up because there's no crying in janitorial skills, much like in baseball. And you have achieved five items. Sweet. Is it time for gluten-free rye bread? Or thick sliced bacon. I think I should plug in the bacon in the navigator to see how far away it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, interact with that navigation system. Oh, darn it, that's still only one die. Five. Three. Yes. Uh, so you know that uh, expressly uh, thick sliced bacon 
uh, is approximately a quarter of a mile uh, towards the back of the store in the bacon section. 17 aisles of bacon-based products. Hmm. The bread was also like a quarter of a mile, but I don't know which direction. Uh, close to the same area. Okay. Let's go. What do you think? Should we go for it, or should we head for the registers and the ambush? Because you don't know what anyone else has, so you're just That's assuming true, yeah. someone else would have bacon and bread to steal. But we also are, we're also pretty sure that they don't have Cheetos. <laughs> how much, yeah, how much time is left real quick? Uh, there's 30 minutes remaining. And how far, how long would it take for us to get from where we are to the farthest item? What's the farthest item? Uh, the furthest item is probably the bacon. Um, and I said a quarter of a mile at 15 miles an hour. Um, oh, look, it's an algebra problem. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. There's one cart want to coming from store side A traveling at 15 miles, miles an hour. hour. There's a cart two coming from the other side of the store traveling at 10 miles an hour because it is overladen with too many Cheetos. At what point which cart, in the store will they reach? At which, at which cart gets to the bacon sooner? Um, so you, you think it'll probably take you at least 10 minutes to get to that part of the store. And that part of the store is 15 minutes from checkout. Hmm. And you have yeah, to be so checked. Do and we have how long left on our timer? Uh, 30 minutes. So do we that gives us like five so minutes of... Not yeah. even five minutes. No, we have yeah. to. We have to. Why don't we steal that? We'll we'll get the get the bread, go back to the register, steal the bacon, bacon. and then check out. And it is time. I think I'm going to attempt to modify our cart with overdrive. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Hmm. Buckle up. This changes things. This changes it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so, are you using a specific skill to do that? I I'm using drive. Okay, so to you're going to try and modify it into overdrive. You're going to attempt to soup up an electric car with whatever the grocery store equivalent of NOS is? Yes. Turbo. They probably sell NOS. So, so the exhaust. Oh, I was just going to say bottles of Mountain Dew, but okay. <laughs> probably just sell NOS. Oh, they do sell NOS energy drink. That probably qualifies as a fuel. <laughs> exactly. Dump that on the battery. I'm sure something will happen. <laughs> they have similar <laughs> properties, I'm sure. All right. Uh, I have an eight. I only rolled six. Yay! Ah, no souped-up car, but an XP. All right. Do you want to you want to use your XP to create some kind of mechanic skill? Yes, I do because I had two dice and I now have two XP. So. So two d six cart modifications. Just just modify is the is the skill. Oh, that's too broad and dangerous. Okay, good. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So, are we going for bacon or bread? Uh, I think we were going to go for the bread. Yeah. We're going to go for the bread and try and steal the bacon? Yeah. Okay. Um, Somebody's got to bring the bacon home and someone's got to make the bread. That's right. There you go. Get this bread. It's time get to get this, this bread. bread. Except in this case, we're going to go get the bacon. Um, okay. So no, we're getting the bread. We're stealing. We're getting the bread, stealing the bacon. Right. Yeah. The way God intended. Got to make this bread yourself. <laughs> okay. Um. So you're going to head to uh, the bread, the gluten-free area to retrieve the Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free 7-grain bread, 18-ounce package. Um, uh, Brian, vroom, vroom. Okay. But you do know exactly where you're going. Yes. Eight. That's simply a two. Uh, so you navigate to the gluten-free bread aisle, and as you arrive in the gluten-free section, you notice a couple of things. Um, I tell you what, Neff. Yeah. Make me that vision check you wanted to make earlier. The the looking around one. The looking around one. The I think it's three d six something. No, uh, I I think I only have one looking. I don't know. I think it was the one you upgraded. Okay. Fourteen. Ooh, definitely more than enough. You notice at the end of the aisle you're entering. Uh, the green team and the yellow team are side by side with working tires and they're exchanging items. Of course the green team has working tires. We're oh the wait, green you're the green team. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason in my head this entire time you're the purple team. It's us. 
From the, it's us from the past. <laughs> and the future. This place is trippy, man. I don't. We, we, we've been going. We went so fast. You we, went too we, fast. We, this we is why you don't modify the cart. This is why you don't modify the cart. Um. Uh, sorry. Yes, the purple and the yellow team appear to be exchanging items. Hanley Oppenheimer. That works. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the one laugh. I got, I got one. I I'll got take got it. One. That's, <laughs> look, when you try and say something like that, that's all you hope for. You hope for the one, yeah. and everything else is a bonus. Um, <sighs> they appear to be trying to exchange items with each other. Which items are they exchanging? Uh, it appears to be bacon for bread. Uh, one Excellent. team appears to have two breads. The other team appears to have two bacons. There seems to be a working arrangement here. We can make this happen on the one fell swoop if we do this right. Huh. You still have some rope, right? I have some. I do. We have, a claw. we have a claw. You have rope, have a claw, a... a thieving skill, and a bag of holding. A propel, a, a <laughs> propulsion rope, a rope that can be propelled. And presumably Shoot. enough things to create a distraction. Tie the bag of holding. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. no. I like tie, where she's going. <laughs> tie the claw to the rope. Shoot the claw out of the gut. Okay. As soon as it reaches full extension, it will the rope will close the claw onto the items, and then we just yank them Made all back. Exchange? How how far away is the is the claw just a claw or is it like a claw on a rope? It's a it's, claw. It's a claw on a pole, like the the trigger squeezy trigger hand thing. Okay, so you can like reach stuff on the high shelf. It's like two or three feet long. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's. Well, why not? Let's go for it. So we're gonna peel down the aisle and attempt to launch a claw arm using a harpoon gun at people exchanging groceries. Yeah. Yep. Hold Good. Hold Norman. on. Love to hear it. All right. Uh, wait, so wait. Who's... We can't wait, get wait. more than 10 feet from our cart. Correct. But they never specified what exactly our cart was. Hey, Hadley, let's make our cart 10 feet longer. Okay. <laughs> what are you using to modify the cart? What are you A 10 foot pole. <laughs> Oh, strong. So you're going to weld the 10-foot pole onto the golf cart. Well, attach the 10-foot pole to the golf cart. The pole now counts as part of the golf cart, so we can go 10 feet past the 10-foot pole. Big brain. Big, big I suppose. All right. <laughs> Hadley, make me a modification check. I have a nine. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah. Cart. Uh, for some reason, they sell welding torches in this aisle. <laughs> doesn't really Perfect. make any sense, but look, it's a 500,000 square foot grocery store. None of it two, makes sense. Two sixes. I yeah. wish I had an XP left. That'd be really good. Return to be alive. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can, you can buy welding torches. It's like Elon Musk. The man wants to sell flamethrowers. There's no reason I can't sell welding torches in my grocery store. Um, Tesla brand uh, flamethrowers. There's plenty of reasons you can't do that, and he never should have either. But that's beside the point. <laughs> you just um, make one in your garage. That's perfectly legal. Really wish it wasn't, but he's not wrong. Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, so you weld the 10-foot pole onto your golf cart and then, I assume, drive at a acceptable pace to where someone can stay 10 feet in front of the golf cart and then, using the harpoon gun, launch the claw arm at the two opposing teams to steal two items from them. Yes. That's all of it? Good. You guys said yes really casually. Like, that was very normal. Good. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You know. Never You've never played Supermarket Sweep with us. Like you do. <laughs> like you do. Because That's there's also going to be an alternative use for having the 10-foot pole on the front of the golf cart. Oh, no. That's just interesting. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, who's rolling to launch the whatever terrible device you've created? Probably Should the I... person with accuracy. Yep, that's ah, me. Okay, um, so you're going to have to roll to... Are you rolling for just the bread... Just the bacon or both? We going all in? We going all in, guys? All in. All in, baby. All right. Neff, roll away. Uh, I have a total of nine. How many am I rolling? Uh, however much your accuracy is. Just one time? Yes. <laughs> oh, my my super thievery skills are three. Ooh. Oh, well, okay, do you, we want to have her shoot, shoot the harpoon gun. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. Shows, yeah. shoot the harpoon gun. Go for it. It's all you. That was 13. 13. That beats nice. nine. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, you Before the ding goes off, you hear the intercom come back on. Really? 
<laughs> Hadley, <laughs> floor it! <laughs> Real. Roll out! And then there's just two dings. You have seven <laughs> items. You hear some other dings. Two teams have achieved six. One other team has achieved their seventh item. Ooh. It's now a race. Wait. Somebody else the got the cheetahs. The red team. <laughs> Dale Bernhardt Bernhard. versus Hadley. <laughs> All right, Brian. Remember, if worse comes to worse, just aim the pole at them. <laughs> aim to disable. Family friendly show. Aim the pole at their cart. <laughs> to disable. <laughs> to disable. To disable the cart. He did say disable. All right. All right, Brian. An important distinction. Drive that bad boy. I'm driving. Can't lose another Bernhardt. I have ten. six. You beat Bernhardt. Ten, ten, ten. All right, you guys peel out. You arrive at checkout. Uh, there is a single person behind the checkout counter. Welcome Hi, to the how you doing today? Grocery store. What's up? Did you find everything you were looking for? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Almost. <laughs> Wait, what didn't you find? Friendship Peace along the mind. way. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of those things. My custody of my kids. <laughs> I feel like peace of mind is hard to achieve when you've used a harpoon gun multiple times. Um, a fireball. Yeah, a fireball. Oh, well, we used a harpoon gun one time, every, and, it, and, and then it wasn't a har- then it wasn't a harpoon gun anymore. Every it was uh, just a rope gun. Every fireball takes away a piece of your sanity. Um, that's a different oh, system. Uh, yeah. Didn't realize we were in Call of Cthulhu. That's, here. that's a very different system. Uh, one you will probably not hear on our podcast, um, just because Ryan no likey uh, the Cthulhu. What um, if it was Derek White's uh, Scooby Doo Cthulhu? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, like Scoob, you opened up a Lovecraftian portal. Right, right, Raggy. Um, <laughs> never could do that voice well. Okay. Um, uh, Scrappy Doo, yes or no? No. No Aww. Scrappy ever. You guys are any fun. Puppy power. I'm a yeah. Why not? Okay, um, so you guys arrive at checkout. Uh, check out your seven items. Uh, that'll be a total of thirty-seven dollars and seventeen cents. What? And you can—he actually has an earpiece on. He's like, "What? What do you mean I don't charge them?" Oh. Okay. Don't get nice cards. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, no one brought money as their. I I have a coupon. (laughs) I pulled it from one of the things that we were seeing by. I still have these skills. It it, it came off of the bag of uh, Cheetos when you destroyed the bags. uh, Coupons fluttered across the room. We we ripped them all off the DVD copies of Shrek. Uh, Those are DVD copies of Star Wars. Thank you, sir. Um, Uh, I can't tell the difference anymore. You know what I mean. It's the same as I'm going to have to clip that out of the intro and put it at the end now. Because uh, that yeah. discussion can't not be a part of what we've done today. Um, okay, so you guys <laughs> check out. Uh, and suddenly, as he dings the last item and voids the fact that it cost you anything, uh, you hear an explosion. Whoa. Um, Oops. And that explosion is fireworks and confetti. Oh. Why are they shooting fireworks inside a building? Who knows? Who approves That's this? Not Probably not the fire marshal. No, he's, he's not going to like that. He's at the other end of the building still. That check <laughs> takes a long time. Um... <laughs> Confetti goes off, fireworks go off. Very small. We're never going to get to use our VIP cards, aren't we? <laughs> the, whole, the whole store, the burns, store down burns during down. the competition. Um, <laughs> so uh, the explosions go off, and uh, congratulations! Uh, you are the world's largest grocery store's world's smallest VIP team. These are the nice. only VIP cards we will ever offer. And he presents <clears> you um, on a nice silver plate. Uh, five golden VIP cards. Uh, each of them uh, have your names on them. Uh, and each of them has a blank space, and he holds up a permanent marker. You each need to select a day of the week. You cannot share days of the week. Uh, Tuesday. Ex- excuse Saturday. me. Saturday. My, my card says Stephen with a PH. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of concern and confusion because these cards are like three grand worth of gold apiece, and that's a really serious issue. Uh, so he, just takes, like... he takes the magic, the, uh, the the marker, and just like scribbles over the PH and just writes a V above it. That'll work, I guess. Uh, our apologies, sir. Um, Typical. Uh, we'll, we'll have that's that what you need to do at the bookstore. Just go and do that now yourself, Mr. King. <laughs> just I like mark to shop. Over all of them. 
I like to show up on a Sunday. <laughs> okay, uh, so we have Sunday, Tuesday, and Saturday taken. Um, I'll take Friday. Friday? All right. Nice. Uh, what day will Hadley shop? Uh, Thursday, I guess. Thursday. Okay. Um, so everyone has their VIP card. Uh, and when you arrive for the first time, uh, you will have uh, your own cart. Um, he looks directly at... Um, looks at list. Uh, he looks direct, <laughs> directly at Gnarg. Um, some repairs are going to have to be made to some of them. And then he looks <laughs> at Bradley, uh, at Hadley as he says some of them. Turns out we're not covered by fire damage. Well, you're not, then you shouldn't have put on fireworks in your That's also indoor true. store, um, my that, guy. That is, that is also true. Uh, That's your, on you. Your carts may or may not smell slightly like magic. <laughs> <laughs> that smell doesn't come out. Um, so, yes, uh, the next time you arrive, because the store opens in one week, uh, as you each arrive on your day. That's uh, how long it takes to clean up after this competition. Yes. Uh, there's still a third of the store that is inaccessible to customers. Um, it's called the Cheetos section. You know, <laughs> you know what you did. Um, there's what actually still a small I didn't even set dust. that part on fire. There's still a small amount of dust settling. It's <laughs> mostly bright orange. Um, uh, but as you arrive, ah, uh, yes, it's one of our VIPs. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Neff, they do present you your new card. Um, with Steven spelled correctly. Finally. Thank uh, goodness. Take the old one and melt it down. Um, and make spoons? Sure. Special designer spoons that they'll sell in the ice cream Ooh, aisle. Half uh, solid off gold, for me. Solid gold spoons. Um, and you all now for life have 50% off at the world's largest grocery store. Yeah. I like that my normal spoons on ice cream. I can't imagine a gold one. It would not be good. Eat it, King. <laughs> Metallic. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the best Stephen King now. I got this half off card. <laughs> yeah, you see outside, and, and you guys also get VIP access. You don't have to wait in the line outside the store to come in. Uh, and as you pass the line, uh, you hear someone yell, King! And you turn around and it's Bernhardt. Bernhardt, Bernhard, <laughs> wait. Day. Wait, Bernhardt, please. Let me buy you something half off. <laughs> <laughs> With my card. <laughs> I'll never take your charity, King. <laughs> Bernhardt, you live a sad existence. You but I respect you. you. <laughs> so I'll see you at the meeting on the normal times. Yeah, man, that sounds cool. All right, cool. We'll see you then. Well, we're bunking together, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the, Marriott. That's right. Baby convention center. Um, boom, boom. I can't then, wait to see Donald Frump. Everybody loves Frump. <laughs> <laughs> the convention of misspelled names. Uh, of, of not misspelled, excuse me. The convention of slightly different famous names. Yeah, people people in with the names same that career. are very similar. In the same career. In the same career. <laughs> it doesn't fit on the banner well. That banner was super expensive to print. It's yeah, just the same one every year. They just kind of put a piece of paper over, over the previous year's year. number. Yeah, yeah. Well, Different. it's not a very big banner. It's more of a post-it note. <laughs> yeah. So you stick it on the door outside the, the specific room of the hotel you're renting. Yeah. Um, and you, you skip the two years for COVID because yeah, got to keep yeah. that social distancing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, it's not like that many people show up, so they can still social. No, distance. there's only seven people in the group. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a hearty seven people. And it's, it's a, a real hearty connection. seven. It's a real connection. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that that's actually that's actually all. That is... <laughs> I don't. What a uh, lovely epilogue. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> with thanks to Andrew and Christina Whiteside for helping me uh, create the grocery list and for yeah. Andrew's suggestion of the robot that throws kiwis because I could not have come up with that on my own. Um, that was great. Uh, that was uh, when he said it. And I'm like, yeah, all right, fine. Uh, <laughs> That's wonderful. Writes down kiwi throwing robot. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that is it. Um, we will go round the circle. Circle? Diamond? Shape of <laughs> shape of Zoom meeting pictures. Um, Two lines. And uh, you guys can tell me uh, where the fine folks can find you on the internet if there's anything you would like to plug. Uh, Brian, I know you're very comfortable with this process. Uh, where <laughs> where can a Brian be found on the internet? Uh, well, I can personally be found at brianray.name. Brian spelled with a Y. Uh, on Twitter at Midgard, M-I-D-G-A-A-R-D-7-7. Uh, the Geek at Arms podcast can be found at geekatarms.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash geekatarms, or on Twitter at armsgeek, because for some reason Twitter likes to randomly deny people names. I still think it's a better uh, name. <laughs> it's 
just a good name. It's like a podcast about um, nerdy bodybuilders. Right. Oh. <laughs> and I'm also the one of the board members for the Christian Gamers Guild, which can be found at christian-gamers-guild.org. And on Discord. And on Discord. They have a Discord server. Mm. You can go to the website and you can find the link to the Discord server. Perfect. Uh, Keela, where doth thou reside on the internet, ma'am? I am at kdsubcreations.wordpress.com, and you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at kdsubcreations, and you can also listen to my podcast on whatever app. It is 11Zs, which is two ones, S-E-S. 11Zs. Oh, good. Okay. Love to hear it. Mr. Neff. Where do I start? Okay. Uh, follow me. You can follow me on Instagram at Neffer Say Neffer. Greatest That's... name ever. Um, it's something uh, you can also uh, follow my production company that I'm part of uh, Tademy Productions that's T-A-D-E-M-Y we're a small film company uh, putting out small films, uh, short films uh, year round um, also uh, follow my friend Official Ness uh, me and him are working DJ. on a project together so shout out to Official Ness N-E-H-S uh, on Instagram, on all the websites he's amazing man drops uh, banger art and uh big shout out to the Nerd of Godcast, the podcast that I'm on. You can find us at nerdofgodcast.com or you can go to the Nerd of God Squad Facebook group where you can uh share some memes and live your dreams. So very many good memes. Oh yeah. Love to see it. Kim, where doth thou reside, madam? Um, you can find me at artsy underscore Oswald on Instagram. I'm also artsy adventure on TikTok and Twitter. Now, the, nice. I, I've seen some of the stuff you put on Facebook. Do you also put that stuff on TikTok? Yes, okay. I have a couple. It's adventure artsy. Oh, I'm sorry. On on Twitter, I am adventure artsy. Adventure artsy. Adventure artsy. artsy. My bad. Link in the description. <laughs> uh, go check out her work. And Mr. Greg. Uh, you can find me pretty much anywhere as Taos777, T-A-O-S-777, except on Instagram where there's four sevens, because for whatever reason it took a fourth one. Uh, and you can also catch me on the current fourth season of City on a Hill. Nice. Which has started recording now, finally. Yeah. And be coming out. So yes, we'll be coming out soon. Um, as will this. I don't know when this will go out. It'll go out eventually. Um, I just couldn't not do a world's largest grocery store game because that sounded funny in my head. Um, so I presumably stay tuned for more rolling for shoes on this channel. Uh, thanks to Brian and Greg for making sure I understand the system as we played it. Um, but that was necessary. I knew the choices I made. Um, <laughs> it is a learning system. And uh, I, I learned. I learned lessons and I'll learn more <laughs> lessons when I re-listen to it. The lessons I've already forgotten. Uh, that oh, I will yeah. learn again a second time. Uh, so thank you for listening. Cityonahillgaming.com, captivate.fm slash cityonahillgaming. He said not positive that was correct. Um, City on a Hill Gaming <laughs> on Discord, link in the description as well for that one. Or at City on a Hill Game on Twitter. Uh, like he said, Season 4 starts soon. Hopefully more of this fun nonsense in the future. Uh, thank you to the five of you for joining me. Uh, open invitation to come back for more nonsense, especially the nonsense Greg came up with earlier. Um, his original theory was that you guys were all going to be uh, foods at the grocery store. Whoa. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but we're going to find out. Um, Love it. So, uh, Tales, the RPG. Ooh. I'm so down. It's not even. Fun. Dude, I would, I would, I would rock. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> I've actually, I used to have a VHS. I used to have a VHS copy of all the ones that you could have on VHS, and I put it in. I had them all in a, a drawer. We used to call it the crisper. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> Bob, no. Uh, and I love that Ryan's camera is still pointing him down oh, so yeah. we can watch him take these notes. Yeah, Veggie Tales, the RPG. It's on the paper. Um, oh, I'm <laughs> so in for that. I'm so that, down. Yeah. That, that wasn't what I thought that meant, but it's what it means now. <laughs> Roll for QWERTY. on a hill tradition of me changing things whenever I want. Yeah, if I was going to be food at the store, I was just going to be a can of cream corn. Roll to eat giant popcorn ball. <laughs> A little deep cut for my VeggieTales fans out there. Roll to see if Barbara Manatee loves you back. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. But the pizza angel, however. Roll does. to find my hairbrush. Oh, <laughs> roll to learn to dance. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Where's my hair brush? That should have been the name. That, that could be a completely different system. That's what we're going to call the Veggie Tales version of Roll for Shoes. Roll for where's my roll hair for hairbrush? hairbrush. Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll to fall asleep at the at the drive through for the cheeseburger. Oh, you are. <laughs> and if you fail, it's like you don't need a hairbrush. You don't oh, have. Okay. Hair. Oh so yeah. So roll for shoes is roll to see if I have shoes on. It's uh, roll for belly button. Um, roll to see if oh. I have a belly button. <laughs> belly button. Uh, button. Uh, uh, that one had Kirk Franklin in it. I'm still not sure <laughs> yeah, why, but it, but it had Kirk Franklin in it. The only did. one of the the only one of the fruits and vegetables I could think of that would have a belly bud would be an orange, a navel orange. Mm. Oh, nice. I see what you did there. <laughs> but technically, they oh, all have an umbilical equivocal. Uh, it's up there on something your on your head. Yes, belly button. Um, <laughs> love that song. It's such a good song. Uh, Boys in the sink. That's right. The Boys in the third same. greatest boy band of all time. <laughs> you heard me. Um, Behind O Town and and uh, O Town uh, is sixth. Thank you. O Town's up there, man. O Town uh, is, is probably should be higher on that list. That's fair. Uh, Backstreet Boys number one. Uh, don't at me. Oh, we're due. What? No, NSYNC, bro. No, sir, NSYNC was my me. first. NSYNC was my first ever concert when I was seven years old. A Backstreet's oh. back. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Have a blessed day. Thanks for listening to City on a Hill Gaming. For more information, you can find us on Twitter at City on a Hill Game, on Instagram at City on a Hill Gaming, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash City on a Hill Gaming, or wherever you listen to podcasts by searching for City on a Hill Gaming. If you want to hear more from the Saving the Game folks, you can find their backlog of episodes at stgcast.org. Thanks, as always, to our Patreon backers, Stephanie, Ryan, Brian, Doug, JD, Andrew, Christina, Ashley, Joanne, and Tony. We really appreciate everything you guys do to support the show. Thanks for listening, and have a blessed day. Keila, uh, say literally anything. Um, Shrek and Han Solo dress the same. Oh yeah, they kind of do. Except for the pants. <laughs> well, yeah. A Still, bit different pants. pretty close. <laughs> and their best friend is furry. <laughs> also true. Accurate. All right, I need to write both fall in love with a princess. <gasps> Tag Nap the same movie. <laughs> Wait, is Shrek <laughs> just the Empire Strikes Back? Oh my god. So if you take away John Williams and add some Disney music. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not okay. Disney music. Work. Music making fun of Disney music. Okay, yeah. better, better. Plus and then we give Star- Lard Farquaad a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, okay, yeah, I'll see it. I can hold it. I think yeah. Lord Farquaad is closer to Dark Helmet, though, than Darth Vader. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Probably. Vader, Lord Farquaad, I mean, he's already got a Sith name. <laughs> They're actually just the same kind of movie. the shape Dang, of the helmet. <gasps> His hair is the shape. Hold on. Did they just... <laughs> <laughs> is, is Shrek just a new hope? <laughs> I'm... I'm distraught okay i'm struggling i'm struggling right and doesn't now. he fly in and like bomb stuff with the dragon not does unlike that, a the dragon okay is the dragon maz kanata then because she falls in love with donkey and donkey's chewbacca chewbacca's dating maz kanata i think at one point <laughs> yes i believe me. that's accurate no, 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 that I definitely happens at some point so it is, did like something happen to his wife from the holiday special or something? Oh, that's we don't true. Talk about that. <laughs> yeah, Molly. <laughs> <laughs>